Hello everyone, this is Jackie Pride, and I am doing a clip on the Queen of Wands um, using the Tarot of the New Vision. So, the Queens and the Kings, they tell me what aspects of their personality I need to bring into my personality. That's how I read the Kings and Queens. It's like, they, to me, they actually can represent even our celestial guides, the personalities of our celestial guides. They're like people that when you meet somebody that just is doing things in a way that's just kind of a little bit better than you, and you, so you kind of take on, you learn from them how to maybe be calm in a difficult situation. You learn from them how to be more generous in a, in a situation where you might have been scared to be generous. Do you know what I mean? Like... It's, it's meeting somebody and then just being like, oh, I like the way that they do things and, and taking that on yourself. That, to me, is what the kings and queens represent. So when they surface, they're giving us tips about what we can do to balance our own personality so that we can attract what it is we're aiming for. So with the queen of wands, um, we see her traditional image. There she is on her throne, the throne being a symbol of her power, her seat of power. Um, she's facing a field of flowers. She's got a sunflower in her hand and she's got her wand in the other. Um, that to me tells me that, okay, wands also represents the fire element. Fire needs boundaries. It needs clear, healthy boundaries in order to um, be effective and be helpful, like a fireplace, right? Um, if, it do, if fire doesn't have that kind of boundary, it can cause problems, it can burn out, it can get out of control. So, in this particular case, the Queen of Wands is telling us we need healthy boundaries around our activities. You can see here now, the other side of her is the side of her that's giving and generous. She's got a basket of food by her, another symbol of earth. You know, food can be very grounding. Um, meals made with love can be very nurturing and grounding. They can be very soothing. So this is somebody that has a very healing um, effect. This person can have a very healing effect on her environment um, if she's ha maintaining good boundaries with what she gives to her activities. We've got somebody who has interest in hobbies or a career, but we also have somebody that takes personal relationships very seriously. So she comes up to tell us, look, we need to make sure that we're not giving too much energy to one thing or the other. If we're, if we're too much drawn into taking care of the needs of all the people around us, that's not good. We need to put a we need to balance that. Maybe with putting our focus onto activities that nurture us. If we're too much spending time and dwelling on wishing we could be doing the things that we want to do, it may be affecting our relationships. We may not be able to organically connect with the people around us, the people that we love. Because in our minds, maybe we're resentful of all of their needs. So that's why, so when she comes up, she's saying, look, we need to do some, we need to just ration out where we're going to put our energy. We're going to spend a little bit of time doing this. I'm going to spend a little bit of time doing this. And I'm going to spend a little bit of time doing this. You know, it's time management and stress management. Um, when she comes up, like I said, she's very generous and very giving. This is somebody that wants to see other people succeed. She's very positive, very optimistic. Um, the challenge of this is she can get a little resentful and a little bit angry if she's focused too much on making everyone else happy. So I think the best thing we can teach people is like, it is not your job to make someone else happy. It's not my job to make the people around me happy. The best things we can do is make ourselves happy, and then we become a gift to the people around us by our example, right? 
like people start to look at you and they go, why are you so happy? Like, I want to be happy. What are you doing? You know, um, being happy is, that's your thing. Now, that doesn't mean we can't care about and cultivate the, the happiness of other people. But you do it in a way where you're not burning yourself out trying to force happiness on them. Because in some situations, a person's going through something and happiness is the last thing you're going to be feeling. So that's where it's like, be with, like with the fire, be careful. We don't want to be forcing our will or our, what we want to see on other people. We let people be who they are. And we just make sure that we're doing okay. Now, if you see that someone around you is, is, fall, is you know, you're getting red flags around someone around you. That doesn't mean you can, you know, this, this queen would say, well, go out of your way to do a little act of kindness. Go out of your way to do something a little bit um, that will help them out a little bit more. Just don't make it a habitual thing where now this person is, you know, using you as a, um, is re over relying on you too much to, and and a, and a lot of times the challenge can also be someone around you who's unhappy may depend on you to maintain the facade of happiness. Like they don't want to hear that you're unhappy. They don't want you to share the other feelings that you're, they just want you to always be happy and put on that happy face so that they don't have to feel like they, you know, because maybe they're going through something and they just don't feel they have the energy to put into you. So this queen is about, she, when she comes up, she's saying, hey, let's heal that imbalance. It's okay to feel what you want to feel. It's okay to express what you want to express. Um, we're not blaming anyone. We're not doing the blame game. We're making happiness our own job. So she brings the freedom to just be yourself. She also, just most importantly, she reminds us, look, don't get so caught up in like your work or making money or something or getting ahead. Don't get so caught up in that that you're neglecting your relationships. Don't get so caught up in your relationships that you're neglecting the other areas of your life. It's about balance and time management, okay? So when she comes up, that's the healing she's going to be bringing to your life. And quite possibly, you may be called to teach someone around you, like, hey, I see that you're at home, but I see in your mind you're, like, totally obsessed with, like, whatever. Give your mind a break. Everything's okay. All right? So she may be calling on you to be a healing force to someone around her, but also she's coming to you to say, hey, you need this healing in your life as well. So um, that's my take of the Queen of Wands, and I hope it helps. And I bless us all with enlightenment. There's my son. Okay, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.